Hi and welcome to a video on the wind gauge. Now as I said uh, in the introduction to all these wind products, uh, it's really important that you understand what the body is doing and what it needs to feel like to make the best sound and make the playing your playing as efficient as possible. Uh, I just had fantastic results from using some of these breathing products. Now I've got a selection but I've narrowed it down to one that I really really like. Um, firstly I started off using the the Voldine, uh, which Arnold Jacobs recommends, and it's fantastic. Um, it really teaches you to, um, you have to breathe in slowly, so you um, basically maximize the amount of uh, air that you're taking into the body while maintaining relaxation and resonance. You know what I mean by that. Resonant air is a term that I like to use. When the air's coming out, if the body's relaxed, you're gonna have a resonant sound. If a singer is singing and um, the sound isn't resonating, if it's strained, it means there's muscles working that don't need to be in. You'd have to learn which parts of the body that you need to relax to make the sound really speak. And it's the same uh, with playing the trumpet. If the body's doing the right thing, um, then your sound is gonna be resonant. If you start and strain things, then your sound's gonna be strained. So we're, we're learning what the body needs to do and then we're once we've got the sensation, we transfer that onto the instrument. Uh, the second one I've got here is an in incentive spirometer. And it, there's a little dial, so the amount of air that can uh, escape or can actually creep in uh, increases, reducing the resistance of the ball uh, as you go. So you do it for as long as you can. Same thing, you're maximizing the amount of uh, air that you can get into the body um, at different restrictions. Um, like in the in the backswing, we're training ourselves to suck air past the hand to get a nice amount of you know, air into the body while maintaining relaxation so your sound is gonna have the resonance. Uh, another one I've got here is uh, a, a gauge. Basically there's four different holes so the resistance changes you can see what uh, air pressure you've got in your lungs. It's all kind of interesting. Now, my favorite one of these toys is the uh, TriFlow breathing exerciser. And that's for a few reasons. Firstly, um, with the three balls, there's, there's different restriction. So when you're uh, breathing air in, you can feel the resistance of one, two, and then the three balls. So it makes it harder. So you're basically exercising your breathing uh, mechanism so the one ball on its own, if we want to go for as long as we can, then write down how long you can go for. And over a week and a month, try and go for longer. And you really feel yourself filling up. It's great. Then the two. I can feel the extra resistance is making me work harder to get the uh, the two balls to stay up. Plus, I, you can't go for as long. Write it down, you'll see yourself improve. Then all three. So it really works to get the air into the body. So when all of a sudden you don't use this, you do the backswing, oh, you feel <laughs> the, the resonance coming out of the body. Okay, so then uh, you can transfer that sensation when you're playing. Now the other thing about this one is if you turn it upside down and grab your mouthpiece, check it out. Now the issue of course with trumpet is pinching the lip aperture, the lip tissue. We want to get it out of the way of the air. Now you can buzz, everyone can buzz the mouthpiece. But if all of a sudden I relax the tissue of the lip and open it up and let the air flow through. You feel a release of the energy in the air from the body and you stop uh, pushing. You can feel uh, when, you're, when, you're, when you're first doing it, the ball's not moving. You're feeling the, the resistance from your lips. Now, we want to get the lips out of the way. They'll vibrate, as I've discussed in other videos. Uh, they'll take care of themselves. You don't need to worry about that. We need to get the air through 
and into the resistance of the trumpet. So the trumpet can then offer the, the feedback that you need to get the vibration happening. So this is all about developing sensation in the body and then transferring it by also using the visualizer and, and the wind stick. I'll check those videos out. Um, you transfer the sensation onto the instrument and you'll be amazed at the the uh, change in the feeling of playing all over. Once you learn how the corners, the aperture corners work and, and determine pitch, um, you can do that without straining the body. And in that way, you'll get more resonance in your sound and playing feels a lot easier. Okay, wind gauge, I recommend it. Get into it. Thanks.